Hey you guys, it's me, Danielle. I'm back here just to give you some words that have been on my spirit, okay? And it and the Lord has been really pressing this upon me, okay, you guys? And I want to share it with you guys because I don't want anybody to be led astray. I don't any, want anybody to get caught up, okay? And to um, you know, be living in anxiety and and, and fear in the aspect of who you're listening to and what you're following, okay? Um, right now we are living in the end times. Okay. And so we are dealing with God's judgment here on the earth. And if you're reading your scripture, okay, cause we worship God in spirit and in truth in spirit, meaning the Holy spirit. Okay. When Jesus died on the cross for our sins, Yeshua, he left his Holy spirit that lives inside of us. Okay. That's why even in scripture, it says that the Lord knew you before he formed you in your mother's womb because you were up there with God before he decided to send you down here. And so he tells you that he will bring all things to your remembrance, all the plans that he has for you. OK, so that's why it's so important that you have your own relationship with Jesus Christ, Yeshua, with the father. OK, so he can tell you the plans that he has for you. Stop following these false doctrines and some false teachings, okay? If anyone is misguiding you, it's going to be in the ways of telling you not to follow what the Holy Spirit is telling you to do, okay? Because it may seem strange and foreign to them. Some people are not going to be obedient, okay? God is looking for obedience over sacrifice, all right? So if he tells you to go left when everybody's going right, you need to go left. Don't worry about what everybody's doing going right because that has nothing to do with you. OK, if the Lord tells you to come out of um, the ways of the world and for you to, to learn how to be solely dependent on him, then you do that. OK, and, and let him show up for you and show you um, how he's going to provide for you in the mighty name of Jesus. It's called stepping out on faith and being led by faith. It's your faith that is the currency, not you trying to save yourself because only Jesus saves you. OK, Jesus will save you and Jesus will make a way for you. OK. And if you see this picture that I have on the screen, I came across that yesterday, okay? The Lord is always showing me that he is with me, even when he has called me to come out here and live by faith and not by sight and knowing how he is going to make everything happen for me, okay? So that's one thing I wanted to go ahead and um, let you guys know that the Holy Spirit is the helper, okay? He will bring all things into remembrance, okay, for the plans that he has for you. So you step in the direction of what the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, is telling you to do. Another thing, all the spiritual spouses, these spiritual husbands, all these extra, you know, doctrines are false teachings, okay? If it's not in scripture, okay, test the spirit by the spirit, okay? We worship God in spirit and truth, okay? Through the Holy Spirit, because he's going to impart the wisdom and understanding and the knowledge of everything that you need to understand what it is that he's trying to say to you, okay? Third, be accountable for your actions, okay? That's why the Lord just asks us to repent, okay, and accept him, as our Lord and Savior, and he will wipe our sins clean. Okay, the enemy can tempt you with certain things, but it's still your responsibility to figure out why you are falling into that temptation, okay, if you catch my drift, all right? There is a route that you need to search out deeper to figure out why you may be doing certain things that are not becoming, you know, of what the Lord has called you to be, all right? And so through the Holy Spirit's help, he will help you learn how to lay down those things and to overcome those things that we would consider will be a cycle or sinful in nature, okay? And third, the Lord laid down his life, Jesus Christ, on the cross for your sins, okay? So he already covered everything. So there, so if Jesus died on the cross for our sins, okay, and you're out here feeling like you need to petition the heavens to clear out every single thing in your bloodline, then what was the point of Jesus dying on the cross for you? Right? What was the point of that? Because he was the one that did the dying on the cross to cover all those things, to remove all those things. Okay? He's bearing all those things. That's why he always tells you to bring all the burdens to him because, you know, and take up his yoke because it is light. All right. There is nothing that could separate you from God's love. All right. That's why when he talks about love and says how it abounds and love covers a multitude, that's what he means. He loves you. All right. And he wants you to come to him. 
all right? And he wants you to stop inclining your ear to false teachings and false doctrines and false prophets. So I pray that you guys take this word back to the Holy Spirit, to the Father. I ask that you test this word by the Spirit, and I pray that you get freedom, okay, in all areas of your life, of anything that has been holding you back, okay, and hindering you from understanding and getting the wisdom and impartation from God that you need in order for you to be able to move forward in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that this word washes over some people today and it sets them free from false doctrines and false teachings in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen.